Okay, guys, how you going? We're looking have a look at question seven now. Um, obviously, if you read the question, we've got a rectangular box here. We know the volume of the box must be 0 0.8 to 0 0.08 meters cubed. And obviously, it needs to have materials that are going to keep the, the cost to a minimum. And Pat is giving you some information that the base measurements are in the ratio of 2 is to 1. Now, obviously, the smaller side here over here is x there. So then if we look at this side over here, 2 to 1 means that this side over here has to be 2x. All right, so that's really part A, the length of the case, the height of the case. Um, we don't know what the height is. But we do want know what the volume is, don't we? All right, so if we rearrange that equation now, we know the volume is equal to 0 0.08 meter squared. That's got to be equal to 2x times by x times by the height h. So therefore, we could say h is equal to um, 0 0.08. Now that will be 2x squared, so we have to divide by 2x squared. So the 2 and the f can cancel out. So that will be equal to 0 0.04 all over x squared. All right, so that's what my h is equal to. The next thing I ask you to do in part b is find the area in terms of x off face p, q, and r. All right, so they are the faces. All right, so... So P is a front face, which is going to be obviously 2x times by the height h, which is uh, there. So let's do that down the bottom here so we can get a bit of room. So P is going to be equal to 2x times by h. Now we know h is equal to 0 0.04 all over x squared. So you can cancel that out with that. Uh, and that works out to be 0 0.04, actually 0 0.08, because we could time that by 2, all over x. So that's p. If we're looking at the next face, just go up here a little bit higher. So q is the n one. So that's going to be, I'll do it over here. So q is equal to x times by 0 0.04 over x squared. Again, the same process, cancel out the x's. So that's going to give you 0 0.04 over x. And then the next one, which is r, r is the bottom face, and that's going to be simply 2x times by x, which is equal to 2x squared. All right, so we've got those three faces, the three different types of faces that you've got there. Then part C says, using part B, find the area of the inside of the open box. Well, we keep in mind what we've got here. So plus part C, the area is going to be equal to 1 of R plus 2 of P plus 2 of Q. All right? Because obviously it's an open box, so it's only got a base. It doesn't have a lid. So that's going to be 2x squared plus 2p, so we know p is equal to that, so that will be uh, 0 0.16 over x, and then 2 of q is going to be 0 0.08 all over x. So we can simplify that to be equal to 2x squared. Adding those together is going to give us point oh, uh, sorry, 0.24 over x. Right, so just adding in right numbers. So now we have a function which we could uh, graph to maximise or minimise. And I think that's the next question, if you know these type of questions. So use technology now to find a sketch of the graph of A, X versus X. So what we're going to do there, and we don't even have to do it on a calculator because we know what we're looking for. We're looking for a graph of area of X for x and we know it's going to go something like this okay and I want to be able to label that point there that's what I want to be able to do all right so if we go and clear that so we know our function is 2x squared uh, plus 0.24 divided by x okay and we're going to graph that 
Right, you can see that obviously we have to change our scale. So let's go from say minus two to say ten. And we'll go maybe to a hundred. We'll graph that. Obviously I'm not uh, at that point there. Right, so I need to even scale on a bit further if I can. So we probably could go to say five and maybe go to fifty. Right, can you start to see that's the part of the curve that I'm looking for? So I can even zoom in a bit more with that. So uh, let's go to 10. All right, so 10 would be probably big enough for this particular example. So you have to know what you're looking for in terms of what we've got there. You get the idea? Stretching it out so I can probably even change my scale over here to be, say, th 3. And that gives me the sort of graph that I'm looking for. Okay, and then all I'm interested in now finding is that point of intersection, I mean the turning point, so it's the minimum turning point, number 3. So we have to go to the left hand side of our, yep, enter. Go to the right hand side of our minimum, enter. Don't make a guess. So we're looking for 0 0.39, 0 0.92. So I'm labelling my thing over here. It's 0 0.39. 0.92 all right so that's my answer there so using technology use that to find the value of x to the nearest millimeter all right so that the inner surface will be at least now I'm working in meters here I don't think I've gone to enough units have I to the nearest millimeter so I should be going to three decimal places here and that will give me so that's 0.391 isn't it 0.9 uh, we could probably say 0.92 is probably good enough there because you have to round up so 0.92 and 0.391 so that's actually 391 millimeters is my x value so therefore you need to identify that so x is equal to 391 millimeters all right so the next part of that, quite often what they ask you to do is to draw the optimal box. So therefore you have to work out what your H value is in terms of that. And then you need to work out what the length of the box is, which is 2x. Um, I don't think we really need to do the next part of that. So um, obviously what you've got there is you're just putting a bit of a lid on there. And so yeah, uh, I don't think it's really worthwhile worrying about. So that sort of completes most of those questions from um, 3E. You've, you've got a couple other questions that you can have a practice on on that sheet I gave you, plus the, plus the revision uh, section of the textbook. So good luck with those. Make sure you ask for some help if you need some help with that.